okay. Sarge, here's okay. an LHD. Well, it is an LHD. Um, but it was named after a mountain in New Hampshire, oddly enough. Um, and we took over 2,000 Marines in 2003 for the search. Being a veteran and being a single parent at the mm -hmm. same time is pretty challenging. You know, I have somebody to watch my youngest son while I go because this VA doesn't have drop-in care. They've just right. started that at some other VAs. Um, and I, I actually, I took my children to the VA like two weeks ago to refill some prescriptions and I'm like, the only kids in here, <laughs> you know, and I'm like, are people wondering what's going on, you know, and I'm just like, I, I think it's important for them yeah. to understand, you know, what it's like and, you know, um, so whenever I volunteer, if it's, if it's feasible for them, I usually take them to volunteer. Joseph's actually been volunteering at the, he painted at the Betsy and Ross House, I hope, because flown over the Capitol on my oldest son's third birthday because I was in the Gulf. I missed his birthday. So, won't be a snow. When I was in the military, I never had to worry about being able to provide for my children, um, whether it be clothing, housing, food. Um, even if something would have happened and I wouldn't have been able to pay rent with my allows, uh, housing allowance, uh, and at one time I did just say, I need military housing, and I was in military housing within 24 hours. Mm -hmm. um, so there's that sense of security all the time. Mm -hmm. I never expected to lose everything all at once. Um, Well, so I, I met a lot of veterans um, by serving on the board for the Betsy and Ross House of Hope um, because Martha has reached out to a lot of veterans for, you know, help and, um, you know, expertise, I guess, as far as what we're experiencing, which is great because she's learned a lot through that. Um, so I met my landlord because I served with him on the board for the Betsy and Ross House of Hope and he's a Vietnam veteran. Um, and then Martha has actually referred me to the lady who has my cats, who she's like, oh, she's an Air Force veteran, she's great, you know, and I gave her a call and she's had my cats since probably the end of January. I just think about it until then, but as you can see from my veteran connections, it's community. Yeah. You know, I didn't even realize <laughs> that you mentioned that. I mean, I know that they're veterans, but, you know, I mean, and that, that's how it is when you're in the military. Oh, you know what? I can't buy these. Uh, oh, those. Yeah. <laughs>